Hey planner babes, welcome back to another brand new video. I'm so excited that you guys are here today. If you wanna follow me, you can do so on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok using at PlannerGoAmy. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss another brand new video from me. Let's get into the video. Hey planner babes, so um, I'm doing this for the second time, the intro, because I um, thought that I heard my phone uh, stop filming, so I just wanted to make sure I was still filming. Um, so yeah, so I'm doing a Disney inspired spread um, with the Happy Planner Times Disney sticker books, and I'm doing the solo Mickey area, so where he's got this blue. Um, so I wanted to show you actually a, um, a photo that's gonna inspire me in my classic planner. So, you probably, if you follow me, there's a chance you follow her as well on Insta because she is part of the Happy Planner Squad. But she's probably one of my favorites on the Happy Planner Squad. Her name is Happy to Plant. And this is a spreadsheet that I watched the video and it got me to buy some of the washi tape. And so I thought I would actually um, use the washi tape and I was really inspired by this. But I don't have a dashboard, but I just really like the color scheme that she did and everything. So I think I'm gonna try to do this one in my um, skinny, uh, in my classic planner, even though it's not dashboard, still trying to do something in this kind of like vibe, but I really like what she did, so I am definitely going to um, do this. So, first thing I think I'm going to want to do is lay down the washi tape and just sort of figure out where I want to place it and everything. So, I think this blue washi tape is fun. Um, it would definitely go in with the blue vibe, but then there's also, which this is what I use in my skinny mini, which I think I want to use. I think I want to cover up this line here, um, just because I just feel like it's a lot of orange. And then maybe put some washi tape up top and cover that as well. So I am just gonna find, I had a little card here. Oh, right here. Um, so I'm gonna, I don't know if you can still see it, but I'm keeping that right here just so that I can easily see it. Um, for inspo, I'm not trying to copy her. I'm just, obviously, we all have access to the same stickers. The point is to create a unique spread, but also I'm just letting you guys know that I was inspired because I don't want people to say like I copied per se, because that's not my goal. My goal is like not to copy, but my goal is to create just a unique spread that I think looks really pretty. Hey planner babe, so I unfortunately have to do voiceover for this video because it was 43 minutes long. It was going to be way too long to post on uh, YouTube. So I've actually been able to whittle this video down to 24 minutes and 33 seconds, which I think is perfect. So I hope that this will not be too fast. The visual that you're seeing, I promise next week I will go back to a normal kind of video length. But unfortunately with this one... Um, it just happened when I was done recording this amazing spread that I really enjoyed doing that it just took way too long So anyway, so as you can see here I switched from the white washi to the blue washi just because I felt like you could still see the orange a bit too much through the white washi And I wanted the like the main part of the spread to just kind of have that sort of blue color So using this blue washi to kind of cancel out a bit of the orange is what I did um, Obviously doing the same on both sides just to create some symmetry and some sameness so, yeah, I put washi here, and then I think I end up layering the Astor's washi tape, so you'll see me do that. What is really interesting is there's another planner babe. She is the same one that you see whose post is in throughout this entire video. Um, I'm, I like that her post is throughout the entire video, so you can constantly see that that's who I'm inspired by. So hopefully you guys won't think I'm copying, but I'm taking inspiration. Um, and how she cuts her washi tape with, like, a gift card, so... She does it so quickly, and I did it with a gift card too, just to see, and it's really quick. I so much like that, much better than taking out my cutter um, and using that. So I feel like this is just quicker, and you get generally the same clean. You don't get maybe as crisp of a cut, but you get a good enough cut that you're not even going to notice on photos or even, like, yourself. So I layered the washi tape just because I liked the look, um, and just because... Unlike my skinny mini, I have a little bit more room here, so layering the washi is something that I think was super fun. And again, that was something I was taking info from in her 
photo. Now these amazing washi tapes are from Simply Gilded. I did a whole review video. Well, it wasn't kind of a review video because they were kind of amazing. But I kind of, I guess you call it a review video. I did that on my IGTV. So you can check it out over there. Um, and what I really like about these washi tapes and um you can just see how thick they are in the sense that like there are skinny washi tapes but you get a lot on a roll and i think that's really great especially when you factor in the fact that i'm in canada and so the conversion like to convert um the currency and everything they do come a bit pricey but when i when i actually was able to see how much washi tape you do get on there i was really stoked so i will purchase from them again i'm just waiting to see Kind of what other designs they come out with hopefully in the same kind of like starry sort of theme i realized i think all of the washi tapes are gonna foil on it so i will maybe look out for ones without any foil at all just again a little bit more neutral but other than that like amazing washi tapes that i'm so happy i added to my collection we'll definitely be supporting them again so, i'm just flipping through my sticker books just trying to figure out which sticker I think would work or what stickers I think would work. I think sometimes that's the thing is pull I like to have my I don't think I pulled it out yet, but I will. I really like to have my uh, parchment paper beside me and I really like being able to pull out all of my stickers and that I think I'm gonna use on my parchment paper. It gives you like that no commitment because the worst thing is when you put a sticker down because you really want to use it like at the beginning in your spread and then as you move along it doesn't work anymore but you're ripping your page or the sticker gets ripped or it gets wrinkled so much that you can't use it anymore and I just hate when that happens but I love that I'm able to collect all of my stickers on my parchment paper that you see there and it gives me that ability to say okay I think I want to use this one but it's here if I don't want to use it and I can easily put it back um so as you can see I don't know why I kept trying to push it down it doesn't stay down on parchment paper it does like curl a bit and it doesn't stay stuck to parchment paper which is great um you can use black paper too um i know um again this is something i got from happy to plan on her youtube channel and i realized i part i don't have wax paper but i push i have a ton of parchment paper upstairs so i was just like i'll cut some and i think that'll be perfect to just kind of allow me to put my sticker there and to um have like that no commitment because i knew i did have i still do actually have the pre-planning um inserts you can get from the happy planner that are plastic but even then you can really fully stick down the stickers so even trying to pull them up i'll have to get out my um exacto knife and kind of go underneath and sometimes you'll nick them a bit and then they curl a lot so i just like the parchment paper a lot better than the pre-planning and then often i do pull up stickers here and there but often I just, I like to go for it. I'm like that with a lot of things. So you'll see me, I'll pre-pull my stickers, but once I get to really putting them on the spread, I'll just go for it. And I just found like the pre-planning inserts was just, they didn't work for me. I still have them. And if you're somebody who um, really wants to do that kind of thing, they can be great for that. But for me, they're not something that works anymore. But I did try them and I do think that they are a good product and I do think it's a great product that the Happy Planner did come out with and I think that it's a product that's great for them to continuously have in their lineup but it's not a product that works for me. So, yeah. so I, I was really inspired to do the kind of the blue Mickey sort of one, the solo, and I, and I really like it. I think it's a really nice blue and um i really just i like the whole look and and i wanted to do some longer boxes but the first time i did a mickey spread i just when i done the longer boxes i didn't like how it looked it looked too much like a pattern in a sense and so i really like here when i was able to mix a long box on one side with a lot with a shorter box on the other side i really like how it didn't feel so much like a pattern and it broke up the long box and didn't create too many on top and gave me even a little bit more space to add some longer boxes that are decorative on the bottom. So originally I think I was going to do like two long boxes together and I, was, I definitely knew I was going to do those two small boxes originally together but then I just liked the look that I had done and the balance that it created in the spread and how it didn't feel so much like a pattern and like I wasn't alternating or anything. 
so um, here I'm putting down this Mickey one that's so cute. I really like the ones where they have the little, um, I don't know how to call it, almost like the Mickey fairy dust. I just really like that. I think it's a great added element that is light, but it adds some fun. I like the little Mickey heads inside it. It's really cool. So I definitely kind of pulled a lot of those stickers because those kind of like stand out to me. And they also really pair well with the washi tape that kind of has that stardust type of feel to it. So then I realized after that I wanted, I originally wanted to put that big box on the weekend because kind of you can blend the weekend together, but it didn't end up working and um, because I ended up doing this instead and I kind of really liked what I did here. It really was fun and um, I, I really totally enjoyed this spread and how it turned out. And I, my first ever Disney spread, I liked it simply because it was Disney with Disney stickers, but the more I looked at it, the more I realized it wasn't exactly like the perfect spread and it was my first also spread back in um vertical and i hadn't been in a vertical planner for about a year and a half so going back to the vertical planner um it, there's definitely almost a learning curve because you have so much of these um you know habits that you have when, when you're in a dashboard or i was also uh, in 2028 partially dashboard partially skinny classic so there are definitely a lot of patterns you kind of retain from that. And I didn't ever think I'd go back to vertical. So I sort of didn't, you know, think to, you know, remember some of those those patterns in vertical. But even now I feel like I there's some things I've learned in dashboard and some things I've learned in the different layout that I take with me into my classic. And something that I've learned to do, which was very something I struggled with when I was first in um, a vertical um, was, no, you know, having my boxes not aligned to the lines that go with each day. So like not having my, you know, you can see that gold box and the little, the little rectangular box beside it. They're not perfectly in each coordinating day. And that was something that I would see other planner babes do and really want to do it. But I just like, I could never do it because it would just not work for me. And now I'm doing it so often and I feel like it really does. And the point is, it's not so into Wednesday or into Thursday, let's say, that I can't tell which day it's for. Like I do keep most of it in the day that it's for. Um, so that at least helps me know. But I'm, I like the ability of not kind of staying so much with the lines, but having them be just a little bit of a guide. Um, and something to, um, which I was still doing once I came back to uh, vertical, was I was sometimes putting stickers in the middle of the line, and I don't do that either anymore, just because I feel like, again, it's sort of creating the illusion that I'm using the line as a total guide, and that I'm aligning it to it, and I just really like the more free form and, and taking this spread that has these guides, and, and then just like going a bit outside the box. So yeah, it's something that was like, I really took on when I was in this planner. And I actually really like this planner. It is the Good Habits planner. And what I really liked about it was because I originally wanted a vertical lined one. And the one that came out for, for 2021 was, it was lined all the way. I liked the original one where you had that small little box on top that was blank. And then you had a bunch of lines. They didn't end up having, the, the only vertical line they had was lined all the way. And I, I just... It didn't, I didn't particularly like super the look for me. So I ended up um, deciding on the good habits just because it had a smaller box on the bottom, a stock grid, and then it had a lot of the longer boxes on top. And I kind of really like that. It allows me to just kind of be able to put the decorative stickers anywhere. And again, less lines for you to feel like you're aligning to something. You know, I feel like the Mickey's and the Happy, the Happy Planet Time Disney sticker book are really amazing um, sticker books. And I really did not think I would do another spread so quickly because I'm really all about, in a way, like conserving these stickers. Because first of all, they're hard to get. Uh, there was an amazing planner babe who I've chatted with um, quite a few times on Instagram who had offered to purchase she would offer to pick these up for me and then obviously I'd pair back and she would ship them to me. And so that was amazing. Um, but my hope is that at some point maybe the border will open. That would be kind of nice um, just so that I'm able to actually be able to maybe go to a place where they're selling them. But if not, you know what, I have these three sticker books and that's amazing. 
but I do even have them. And and I didn't really think I would do another spread again, just because these are really expensive sticker books, first of all, um, to get. And they're also just like so limited edition. But when I saw Happy to Plan's Instagram post, I was really, really inspired. And I was like, I have to do this. So I was waiting for my Simply Gilded washi tape to come in. It was supposed to come in the day after I normally film my plan with me, but it ended up coming in the day before, which was so exciting. I was so happy. So it came in perfect on time for me to be able to do this spread, which was exciting. Um, so yeah. I like the little Mickey voice thing now. I like some of the expressions that are kind of funny and are not just like regular Mickey standing, but he's jumping or something. And this spread is kind of, when they first came out with these sticker books and announced the whole Disney collaboration, it got me even more interested in Disney. Um, so I have a couple of Disney stuff in my room that I've put up that are black and white Disney. Um, Mickey doing some fun expressions. And I, and I wanted to find the most hilarious expression that kind of make Mickey look a little bit dramatic. Just in my, so I have some of those in my room. I can maybe show you guys in a video. I hope to do a office area, filming area tour soon. Um, it will be, it is basically complete. I'm just waiting for my dad to come over and to put in some outlets for me. So there'll be less wires. Well, not a lot less wires, but there'll be just like one less wire. So I will show you guys a full tour soon. And I just need to get one more piece of art up on my wall, which is my college degree in graphic design. Um, I actually got that framed, custom framed. Cause like, you know what? I'm not going back to school. I, I'm, I'm kind of done with school. I graduated about two years ago, uh, this past December, made two years. I was like, you know what? I should get that custom framed. It'll be nice. And I can always have that somewhere in, it. in my future when I live on my own and have my own graph and an office. I can happily put that up on the wall. So, yeah. So, this is more of like a chit chat video um, because, you know what? I was kind of like thinking I should tell you guys I've been putting each sticker down, but you know what? I don't really remember why I put each sticker there necessarily. It's been a while. I actually filmed this Wednesday and we are Saturday. And I was like, I did some stuff today. I went out and I got, I did some shopping. And then I was like, ooh, I have to edit this video. I figure out what to do with this 43 minute video. So this is more like a chit chat. So welcome to the chit chat party. Um, there was a like, I will tell you though, there was this little bit of blank space where you could see my hands and those like fairy dust kind of stickers. I just didn't know what to do there. I kind of really struggled right there with what I was going to do. Um, and uh, so, yeah. But I ended up doing something. Did it work out completely like the way I would have like, no. But I kind of really like how these, I'm, I'm putting my hand on the screen. Thinking you guys can see it. You can't. But anyway, the box where Mickey is, and it's half gold fairy dust, half blue, and then Mickey in the corner. Um, you can see on, I think, what day is that? That's on Friday. I kind of like all those boxes in that area that are, like, they're so close together. It kind of creates almost like a collage, which is kind of fun. So I remember do really liking how that turned out. And, um, and then I ended up moving Best Day Ever because it was right in the center of those, of the three boxes. And it felt, like, too, like stuck in the center because I'm doing a lot of things again that are not aligned to the lines or anything or anything in particular I wanted it up I did struggle with that um so yeah as you can see oh it was a little too much I'm gonna go over into the places that the whole punch is I should say the whole punched area and then uh, being like too aligned where it was like it was slightly sticking over the line it was like it just looks like misplaced. I was like, I have to fix it. It has to be like over the line a bit. It was such a struggle, man. I just kept pulling it up and being like, okay, am I finally gonna get it? And then I was like, okay, now I got it. Something cool though is the Happy Planner punches are so expensive, but I got one for really cheap and this is it. So, um, you know, when Stephanie Fleming came out with her collection with the Happy Planner, I would say probably maybe two months after it came out at Michael's, we had a ton left, and Michael's put it on liquidation. And that includes the whole punch, the sticker books, the 2021 planners. So I took advantage, and I was able to get the Happy Planner punch for like 14 I think it was like $15, $15 like 14 or something, compared to like $30, $40, which is how much they cost here 
and her planner was all liquidation, which I would consider getting. Her guided journal was. I didn't get that. I felt like as much as it is a really good deal, it's sometimes things are a really good deal, but it's like, am I really going to use it? Because if I'm really not going to use it, then in reality, it's not a good deal for me because I'm still wasting this kind of money. So, um, but I'm really happy, and I'm really happy that it's the white neutral one, and it works, and it's so nice on my desk. I don't use it a whole lot often, but considering it was only fourteen ninety seven, and I always wanted one just in case, I'm able to easily punch in stuff. So maybe there'll be more stuff in the future. I'll punch it to my planner. I'm just happy I have it. It's really great, um, and it looks nice. I don't. I like how it's not one of their blue ones or their pink ones. It's the white. It's neutral, and I think it's great. And I'm so happy I got on liquidation. Um, so yeah, I was really surprised that our collection went on liquidation so quickly, and I considered getting the sticker books when they first came out, but I didn't, because I was like, mm, I'm not so sure if they're my vibe, but then I did once they went on liquidation, because I got two, they were like five bucks each, five, six bucks each, and I got two of each, so yeah. Well, I think we're almost at the end of this worth recording, I'm not 100% certain, I could see my, like, line telling me I'm getting close to the end of this clip, so... Um, yeah, this part was really fun to do, actually, and I really enjoyed it. Um, as much as, like, there was a little area you see me putting a bunch of Mickeys right now, as much as that area was a struggle to work with, and I'm not so sure how it turned out in the end, I do really like this, um, how it turned out. Okay, question for you, planner babes. So I tend to leave my planner open on my desk, just because I like to, when I walk by, I like to see the spreads, because I usually think my spreads are really fun. Um, does it ever happen that your stickers just start to curl up on the edges? Like, maybe it's because it's in my basement, it's a little bit cooler down here. I don't really know, but question that you guys can leave in the comments. Anyway, this spread is really fun to do. I really like doing the spread where sometimes you put a lot of stickers, but they still feel like they're that balanced. I feel like this spread definitely has it. So, yeah. I think this spread is going to end soon. So, this will be the end of my voiceover and a little Planago Amy chit chat. So, bye. Mm -hmm. A couple of things I wish I had gotten. But I couldn't because they don't ship them here in Canada. But I wish I could have somehow gotten it. Was the Disney Princess uh, sticker uh, The sticker books the, as well as the uh, planners because those look really cute. The dated ones, but I, I like my planner, but it's just because they were really cute too. And I know I don't know if I probably would have used it, but just to have it would have been cool. But also the undated too. I think the undated, the only problem with undated is like I don't like dating it on top because I wouldn't do a good job, but I think it would have worked too. Would have been nice too because then I could have used it next year, you know? But then what happens is you're like, oh, I'll use it next year, but then you'll find another one next year. So I really like the coordinating spreads. Let me just get my planner so I can put this in. I don't even know how long this video is. I really hope it's not too, too long. But if it is, I'm sorry. Um, sometimes I like putting a lot of stickers. Sometimes I don't. It just varies. Um, but this one, I think it turned out actually good. Um, so that's something. I will admit, not all of these stickers are sticking down properly. So let me show you guys again. This was the inspo uh, from the spread. This is how it turned out. No, I, just to let you guys know, if you, in case you're noticing a difference, you're like, what's going on? Yes, this here is um, rose gold or like copper kind of foil, but it's kind of like the differences are not as noticeable. So I kind of really like it in here. Um, I overall really like this, how it turned out, this whole spread and everything. And I think it's so cute. And, um, I still have, like, room to write things. I should have probably left a little bit more room for Sunday. But overall, I like how it looks. And I think it looks super cute. And so, yeah. That is all for this week's video. Um, now, I do have a video that I'm not sure if you're already going to see it. Actually, probably not. You're probably going to see it more later next week. Where I talked to you guys about the iPad. Um, then I got my more techie video, but it might not come up the video. I'm not 100% certain if it's gonna go on Planet Girl Amy or not, but um, just watch out for that this coming week to see if it actually does. So, bye, Planet Babes, until next time.